Hello, my name is Christian Amsus, and as a RAD maintainer living in Vienna, it's my pleasure to say welcome to Vienna. It's good to have so many of you here, and welcome to the RAD Summit of 2024. So, so preparing this, I thought to myself, um, what is the RAD Summit to me? And to me, it is a place and, a, and a, an occasion uh, to celebrate that we have things that we can do in common. Um, and first and foremost, um, that we have a community that we can enjoy. That's every one of you, no matter whether you're just joining here for the first time, whether you're um, joining on Matrix, uh, GitHub, or um, have been doing this for almost ten, for over 10 years. It's also a place where we can exchange um, our shared views of how the internet and how the internet of things can be. And it's a place where we can just have fun hacking on the operating system for the Internet of Things. Um, I'd like to go into a few of those details because some of you um, have worked, have been more part of the community, some have been more part um, on the technical side. So just as an overview of like, what is it that we're doing here, we're talking about Riot, op Riot OS, which is, means that we are targeting small devices. We are targeting lower power devices and yet we want to have all the abstractions that make it practical to build up to build applications that are portable that we can reuse over and over again the common idea behind all the work we are doing here at least to my understanding is that there is a place for um, open collaboration even in a space that where often uh, devices are closed, where devices are made um, one shot manufactured for a single uh, purpose, and yet by combining the expertise that we have in various areas and combining our work with the work of other people in the same area, we can create a space where we can um, come to better technical results by collaborating, by being open not only in the software we are using but also in the protocols. Um, that we that we foster there, and of course, um, RAD is about is a community. RAD is people. That RAD is all, every one of us, and that's also the and it's the people and it's also the places where we meet. That can be on the website, that can be on social media on GitHub, and of course, that is um, physical meetings, um, like the summit and like the hack and hack events um, that we have regularly. It's been a tradition on the summit to summarize a bit what has happened in the year. Um, but for this year, I've taken the liberty to look back at what we summarized in the past summits and how, we, what were things that um, were created as part of Riot between those summits. So um, I won't go through the list in detail, except for the, for the last items then for that, what happened since last time we met. Um, but what I want to um, point out here is that many of the things that we talk, that we found during the summits that were important changes to our community, to the software that we are providing um, since the last summit, were discussed and were brought up during the summit. So, um, and it's all those those um, I, all those important like change log items that are put in boldface there, and I'm afraid on that. Yeah, it's visible enough. Um, the, those are items that only came into, the, into our software after they have been discussed at a summit, after they have been proposed at a summit, or after people from the larger community brought them to our attention by presenting, for example, what is going on in other related operating systems. Um, prominently, in, since, the last, um, since the last time we've met in, in Frankfurt last year, um, PSA, a cryptography, um, Interface and library has been merged into Riot OS, which has been discussed in the in the summit prior, and um, so have been many co-op enhancements that not maybe in in those um, precise details have been discussed at the summit. But there are always those topics that are coming up at the summit that we later find to be relevant additions to Riot OS um, in the in in the in the year afterwards. Um, so from that, I do hope that many of the topics that we will discuss in the coming two days um, will also turn out to eventually make their way into Riot OS in the years to come. And it's not only necessary in the next year. So I've 
There are a few items in there that have been discussed like three summits prior and it took three years for them to, um, to come into the operating system. But eventually they, they got in there. So um, what will we do here? Um, first of all, uh, where are we? We are at the University of Vienna, which is a rather old university um, having celebrated 650 years of existence. Um, I think it's already nine years ago, so it's almost 660 years now. Of course not this building. This is relatively recent, as you can see, with only 150, 140 years to it. Um, but still, it's the home of, of many students here. Um, what we will do, um, yeah, one thing um, for the location also, um, you've all entered uh, through the octagon and through that, uh, that area here, so you know the rooms already that we'll be spending time in here. Um, tomorrow, we will also have um, extra rooms for the breakout sessions, but they're just when you leave outside there, go to the right, um, you can't miss them because they will be open and there will be people around there. Um, so it's everything really close together. Um, speaking of the things now that um, happen and will happen, we've already um, had a quite interesting RAD tutorial um, for two and a half hours before with people um, exploring examples in C and in Rust. Um, after my few words, I'll hand over to our keynote, um, keynote speech. Then we can have lunch in the room just outside, followed by two sessions, one on the topic of security, one on the topic of privacy and reliability. And then we will plan what we will be doing tomorrow morning, in which constellations, what the topics are that we want to discuss as a community. And I'll come back to the social that will be happening this evening anyway. Um, tomorrow we'll start with a general assembly where we discuss um, topics that are relevant for the larger group and where we try to achieve consensus. And we also recap on the releases that we've, the last release that we have had, uh, take an outlook on the, on the upcoming release, and then follow up on what we are planning this evening um, in terms of breakout sessions that will be two, se um, two, sessions, in, uh, two sessions in each room after each other, and we'll just try to arrange that in such a way that there's not too much overlap between people that want to join one or the other session. Of course, people, um, people who do want to join all four sessions, and I'm, that might be, might be me, uh, will just have to rely on a few notes and, and, and outcomes to be, to be taken. After lunch, that will also be had here again, uh, we have um, two more sessions, one on applications and programming, and one on hardware and community topics, followed by an open microphone session where we can pick up anything that anyone wants to add to this whole um, event that we haven't talked about, had a chance to talk about before. Uh, something, one thing that worked well um, last year, and I hope will work even better, is the topic I mentioned before of having fun hacking on the operating system. So for this year, we also plan one more day where we can just take all the topics that we've talked about, that we've seen in presentations, and take the time to sit together, uh, work on actually implementing this in code. This will not happen here. This will happen at F Faculty of Computer Science, but it's in walking distance, and you can find it on the map and on the, on the summit page. The agenda this year is once more, thanks Oleg, um, also available for those who prefer browsing it with constraint devices. Those are the two URLs where you can at any time access uh, which presentation is currently happening. I've mentioned before we will have a social event this evening. Uh, this will be at Zene Marie, an, um, an old Heuring uh, at Otterkringerstraße. We can get there by the underground train U3. Um, we'll leave here after the last session. Um, we'll probably not travel all together, but we'll form flocks and um, all find our way. Please remember to bring your badges. Uh, that will help us keep track of uh, like who can, who can eat there. Um, speaking of social things, um, there is also social networks. Um, if you do post pictures of this and uh, um, your experience, um, please um, use this hashtag because that makes it easier for us to um, keep an eye on, on what people are interested in. And also on the topic of being social, um, this event is happening um, under the code of conduct of the Riot operating system, uh, of the Riot project, um, which as many code of conducts basically means that please be considerate, please be nice to each other, please make sure that we are all having a welcoming environment here. 
if there is any trouble, um, either um, write to that email address or um, uh, um, talk to Oleg or Martin. Could you maybe just raise your Oleg and Martin? Um, for those who don't know them, um, if there's any trouble, uh, we'll make sure uh, to work it out. Uh, one more thing, um, this all is possible thanks to the support that we've received from the um, city of Vienna and also from the university that is having us here, from INRIA Technische Universität Dresden and the Hochschule für Angewandte Wissenschaften Hamburg. Thanks to our supporters. And with that, thank you.